Hi, I'm Valder Beebe. I'm the host and the visionary of the Valder Beebe Show, God Talk. Some people talk to God and others believe that God talks to them. Join us in conversation with authors, religious clergy, metaphysicians, and regular people like you and I and God Talk. God Talk is a podcast available on FM Radio, Roku TV, and online. Subscribe at ValderBBShow.com. You can also subscribe at YouTube.com slash ValderBBShow. Join the conversation of God Talk. I'll see you there. Well, good morning, gentlemen. Welcome to the Valder BB Show. How are you? Doing great. Thanks for having us. I so Rick and Zach, and I want to introduce them to my audience because they're here to talk about something really great. Because after two years of pandemic-related cancellations, you as Americans, you're ready to travel this summer, and it kind of kind of spice up your life. Rick, I'm going to start with you. What are some of the travel trends for the summer of 2022, and how will the travelers experience their destinations? Yeah, so what we're seeing is that this is going to be a very busy travel season for sure. Nearly 75% of Americans are actually saying that they do plan to travel this summer. Uh, Some trends that we're specifically seeing, we're seeing that this idea of a staycation is really here. Uh, So think about gas prices are quite high. People really just want to stay local, enjoy their city, uh, enjoy their specific market, but get a little bit of a different point of view. And then this continued idea of really reconnecting with your loved ones, with your friends, with your family, we're seeing that as also a common trend this year for sure. And then last but certainly not least, business travel. Business travel really suffered during the pandemic, but it has come back and it started to really ramp back up during the spring. And we're seeing that in the summer months as well. Rick, you know, tell my audience about Cambria Hotels because they provide guests with a genuine sense of place through their locally inspired design and their bar bar forward food and beverage concept. Tell me about that. Yeah, I would love to. So Cambria Hotels, we're very much focused on being unique. And that's because every one of our properties is unique. We specifically design it that way. And that's really highlighted in our bars and in our restaurants. Take our menus, for example. We really focus on ensuring that we have uh, local ingredients and really local menu offerings that you won't get from Cambria to Cambria. If you look at our craft beer program that we have in place, it's focused on really having breweries from just the local neighborhood and the local area and highlighting those so guests can really taste the city that they're in. And then Zach over here does a fantastic job of really curating the right cocktails for that specific hotel and that particular market. For my audience to know that Rick is the um, director of Cambria Hotels Brand Management. Now, Zach, before I talk to you, I got to ask you about this title. You're a mixologist and a Cicerone, and you got to tell me what a Cicerone is, if I'm pronouncing it correctly. Uh, You're right on the money. A lot of people ask that question. It's really the equivalent of a sommelier of beer. Oh, so when I go to come to the Cambria Hotel next time, I want to tell them I want a certified mixologist in the Cicerone, and they'll give me one? <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll do our best. Well, tell me, what makes the, um, the launch? You, you guys are launching the taste of the destination. Why is this so unique? So the taste of the destination is really uh, highlighting six gem properties from around the country, uh, coast to coast. And we've created a... Uh, very interesting, unique renditions of the Cambria Margarita that really speak to that local flavor, really embody it for each hotel. And we're sourcing local ingredients such as syrups, spirits, and produce to really highlight those flavors and bring it to life. Oh, that sounds delicious, Zach. I'm a margarita girl. So tell me now, what's the fun part? And can you tell us about the six drinks options that have been inspired by the signature flavors of those six destinations? Absolutely. So Rick and I are here today at the D.C. property in uh, Capitol Riverfront, and we're mixing up a cocktail called For the People. And while the foundation of it is similar to a margarita, it is utilizing tequila. We're actually combining a local spirit, Ambrosia Aperitivo, with a flavor profile that's very symbolic of D.C., the cherries. 
So with this combination, it's a little bit like a margarita, but also a little bit something different, something progressive, uh, fruit forward with a little bit of balance and complexity to it. And this is just one offering that we're doing. We have on the other side of uh, the U.S. in LAX property, a fresh puree of California avocados uh, in the Mezcal on Melrose cocktail that really embodies the, the California spirit. It's a creamy and smoky version of the Cambria Margarita. And these are just a couple options here. Uh, there's several more all across the country, and we'd love for people to come out and check them out. All right, Rick, I would like to wrap up with you. Where are your properties located? Because you guys made me want a margarita, so i got to find where you are. We are all over the place. We're in 60 locations right now. And if you're traveling like many Americans are over the next few months, definitely visit uh, choicehotels.com slash Cambria to really learn more. With gas prices rising, definitely want to take a look at our deals so you could hopefully save some dollars on hotel rooms. Rick and Zach, I want to let you guys know I have the best job on the planet, but I'm a little bit jealous of you two. I'm kind of like, I don't know if I still do. I have to come over there to the Cambria Hotel. Thank you for being my guest on the Valner BB Show. I really appreciate this. Absolutely. Thanks, Thanks for having, having us. us. Hi, I'm Valder BB. I host the Valder BB Show broadcast on radio and television. And this is My Phone Pouch. My Phone Pouch is a great invention. It allows me to go hands free, pocket free, purse free, even belt free. Head on over to myphonepouch.com.